Thrive and Shine is an educational adventure game for mobile, tablet, and web that teaches high school students about personal finance. Players create an avatar, move out of their hometown, buy a hover car, graduate college, and advance in their career on their way to success. As a teen, I played lots of Nintendo games like The Legend of Zelda, Wind Waker, and Animal Crossing. These bright and friendly worlds filled with quirky people left a strong impression on me and influenced the decision to go with an expressive art style with cel-shaded rendering. Aspiring to improve is an important theme in Thrive and Shine. This was the main focus behind choosing a utopian near-future setting. As the player progresses through the game and gains wealth, they come into contact with more advanced technology. Focus group testing was an important part of the iteration process, and we tested out a few specific aspects of the art direction. We tested how much science fiction and fantasy we could push into our designs with students. We also tested which careers to offer the player. In the earlier versions, the player could choose from three careers, but in the end we scrapped this idea because players were unhappy with a small number of options, and we didn't have the resources to create a large number of them. The final version of the game has the player working at a recycling center. A 2.5D pipeline is used to create the heavily stylized aesthetic as well as scope down the level of work needed to complete all content. 2.5D techniques rely heavily on 2D assets combined with a 3D environment for lighting and perspective. We use a combination of 2D and 3D animation techniques based on whichever one is better suited for the requirements of the art. Our avatar system is a great example of this. We wanted the style of characters in the game to be humorous and exaggerated while giving players the flexibility to create a wide range of ethnicities and genders. Since players have to manage their wants and needs in the game, being able to see their avatar's emotions clearly is important. Our facemaker feature allows players to customize their avatar's head in one of over a billion possible permutations, each with its own range of 16 facial expressions. Every variation on each facial feature is a hand-drawn sprite exported out of Photoshop and imported into an individual TK2D texture in Unity. Animations of the eyes, eyebrows, and mouth are handled through TK2D sprite animations. This was combined with Unity animations for a bobblehead-like effect. Helmets that are purchased in the game give the player superpowers at work. These helmets are swapped using TK2D. Skin, hair, and eye color are all done through a custom shader. Each sprite that can be tinted is saved alongside a texture that acts as a mask to inform the shader of what can be colored. Costumes are designed in 2D as individual pieces. The pieces are then broken out onto a texture sheet and 3D modeled out like paper dolls. We then rigged and animated the meshes in Maya, exported, and then the animations were defined and triggered in Unity's animation system, Mechanim. Pieces of the animated body are sorted by offsetting the bones in the rig along the z-axis. The body and head are combined in a Unity prefab and rendered to an orthographic camera that flattens out the combined pieces. To set an aspirational tone, the world of Thrive and Shine is set in a utopian near-future world where towns use green or renewable energy. As the player progresses in their own wealth, the environments get more futuristic. The player starts off living with their cousin in a small forest town called Acorn Hollow. Retrofitted solar panels adorn Tudor-style homes, hinting that the world outside is more advanced. Like many teens who grow up in a small town, the player character is anxious to move away. After they have saved up some money, they are able to fly a rocket out of town. Also like most teens, they crash very quickly. Rusty's Mesa is the town that they crash land in, and is inspired by the American Southwest. The buildings are styled with colonial revival architecture, including ceramic roof tiles and stucco walls. The high plateaus make wind power a logical choice for green energy. Eventually, the player can purchase a hover car and travel to the third and final town. Shima City is a Neo-Tokyo-style flying city that uses magnetic levitation and electricity as energy. Environments take a lot of time to produce content for, so we used a vertical slice approach in the environment pipeline. Vertical slices are a highly polished piece of the whole. This approach allows us to quickly iterate on art in order to best serve the designs and maintain a consistent art style across the various slices. It also allows us to estimate the total time it will take up to produce all the content. First, we determined what the player home looks like. At this stage of concept design, we took time to explore the designs of shape language, color palette, and materials. Next, we make an illustration to guide the art team with the production of the town including its setting, building variants, town layout, and animation VFX. Clickable buildings have thick outlines and high contrast to make them stand out. 
The 2D art is designed and colored in Photoshop and is textured on a 3D model made in Maya. This requires a method of UV mapping where UVs and verts are pushed to conform to the 2D concept design. Since we have a fixed camera angle, we can set up the scene like a diorama. Using a 3D scene adds a better sense of depth than a 2D scene would. Once we have the layout of the town established, props, plants, and NPCs are added. Then, an animation VFX pass is performed on the environment to make the windows and street lamps light up at night and to give buildings and NPCs life. Faking lights at night is a combination of a custom shader with particle emitters. A team of four artists is responsible for all of the art and UI that has gone into Thrive and Shine. We are all proud of the results and hope you have enjoyed taking a look behind the scenes at what goes into making art for games in a small studio. Thanks for watching.